Welcome back to the show. You know, there's nothing more beautiful than mermaid hair, but that is not an easy aesthetic to achieve for everyone. Between the coloring and climate, I can barely manage to keep a, any sort of mild mermaid version of my hair. And believe me, I'd have guppy hair without these hair extensions. So here to help us out is someone who makes mermaid hair happen and can show us how to save our hair this summer. Welcome back, Angelina from Angelina's Hair Studio. Thank you for having us. We are so delighted and thank you for making the trip from Warm Beach. Okay. That's where she is. But you were just telling me people come from all over to have you help heal their hair. 90% of our clientele travels. So from out of state, um, you know, they come. If they value their hair, they mm -hmm. find us. When it comes to hair care, uh, what do we need to be thinking about during the summer? Uh, UV protection. Mm -hmm. I know we've talked about this before. UV protection, oil, hats. Mm -hmm. Protect it like you would your skin. Okay, got it. Okay. And uh, good trims. So keep up with the trimming. I would avoid the bleaching if you can throughout the summer months. I, I take a break in the summer yeah. uh, when it comes to bleach, and I like to lift in the, in the fall. Okay, I love that. So when it comes to just some of your favorite products, what are they? I love a texturizer for a hairspray. So you replace Texturizing this. Texturizing hairspray, okay. You replace this instead of a hairspray, especially if you have finer hair. Yeah. So you really want to use a texturizer spray and it's powdery. Mm -hmm. So it uh, it's not so sticky, it won't weigh, weigh the hair down and it will really fluff up the hair and make it volumized without it being sticky. I love it. Okay, so this is our lovely model here. Thank you for, for being here. We're going to give her a beachy curl. Yes, the okay. beach curl. How do you do that? Because I always try and literally I curled my hair Monday and now it's kind of just fallen out of the curl. So now it's kind of a beachy curl. But how do you achieve that beachy curl? This is my favorite iron in the world, especially if you have length or if you have extensions in. Okay. It's a long barrel mm -hmm. and it's the bioionic iron. I love this guy. This is in a one and a half inch. Oh, okay, one and a half inch. That's so it has to be a big barrel, right? For for long hair. I it depends and on your hair, hair texture. Okay. Oh, your hair texture. So Not if you length? have if you have thin hair, a smaller bar barrel. Oh. If you have a good amount of hair, a thicker thicker barrel. That is good to know. Okay. So I like to put on the texturizer spray when it's dry before I curl. Okay. Shake and I spray down the hair so it seals the cuticle. Okay. And then I use my bioionic. I'm opening. This is like old school wand. Yep. You have to get used to it. If you're not used to this, if you're used to uh, wrapping, yeah, you have to get used to it. But always work away I from the like face. I don't like wrapping. I, I always. I mean, sometimes I've gotten kind of the hang of it, but I'm not a huge fan. All right. I'm open. Open. Warm up the hair. Okay. And with a beach wave, you want to start in the middle of the hair strand. I'm leaving that end out. Okay. Yeah. I love that. I love looking at that right now. Uh, just watching you do that. Really? Oh, what are you doing there? You're spinning it? Spinning it, and then it's called the rope curl because the more ropey it looks, the more beachy it'll be. So you really want to rope it. I We call it uh, wrapping, right, Lexi? We call it wrapping. Wrapping. So we wrap it. So we uh, work away from the face. I'm opening, I'm opening it, and just let the iron do the work for you. Okay. Okay. Let the iron work for you. Work for you. And then leave the ends out. You want to leave the ends out. Pull it out. I'm kind of knocking my iron out. I'm stepping back and I'm pulling it down. Okay. <laughs> that seems a little bit. I don't think I can do it. You can. I don't think so. You can. I might try it. Can I try it? Yeah. Come do you down. mind if I try it? No, okay. No, she doesn't mind. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Take so. The strand. Okay. Strand. Okay. Open and it. Open it. Uh huh. And warm up the hair. Uh, all, the whole hair? Yeah, all, warm up the hair. There you okay, go. Okay. And then start there and then go all the way up to the scalp. Like you're, that? Yep, and you're letting the iron do the job for you. You're always working away from the face. Okay. And now? And now take a step back with the iron and then unwind. So you're un. Oh, sorry, Lexi. Unwind. unwind. And then keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, <laughs> keep turning. Wow. Okay, Lexi, sorry we hit you, but it, that is amazing. <laughs> Uh, okay. And then you keep on, so you, the more ropey the curl looks, the, the more beachy it'll be. Okay. So you really want to, the roping, the twisting is the secret. All right, so I, I, there's going to take some technique <laughs> to, to come up with this. Something else you wanted to show us is an invisible layer. What is that? The invisible layer haircut is really, really, um, think Jennifer Aniston haircut, but less layers. So okay. they cut the layers um, with, with 
uh, lifting the the heaviness. Okay. So they'll cut and uh, shed off the ends a little bit. Okay. Um, I'll take pieces and cut the pieces without taking taking length, and that will give you layers and movement. Oh, uh, layers without, and movement. Without um, taking length off. Okay. Oh, see, that's good because like my hair is kind of just like right now. So you would just kind of add a little couple of yeah layers. Wherever I see heaviness, I'll take out uh, pieces without okay. taking length off. Do you have any advice for curly hair girls? who were like myself, who are trying to grow it and not give it too much damage in the summertime. Stop bleaching. Stop bleaching. Stop. I but then you're gonna see my grays. I feel like chemicals will do more damage than any, bleaching will do more damage. I, I avoid bleaching at every reservation. I really okay. try to bleach at every other reservation. If I can, don't I, Lexi? Okay. All right, what is a butterfly cut? But this is my favorite, the butterfly cut. Uh, there's my beautiful client. She has a butterfly cut. So we um, take layers, uh, almost bricked in the back, and we over direct it, like 45 degree angle, and we bring it down. So it gives it a really soft, oh. sexy, sultry cut. Butterfly, she does. And, look like and a lived in, it's very lived in. Um, I love that. I did mention my hair extensions. What do we need to think about when it comes to hair extensions? The right artist. Okay. Make sure you do your research. Be an educated guest. Yeah. Do your research. Make sure that they are educated. They take their education seriously. Seriously, it is. I've seen I've seen a hair extension go wrong. Believe me, I know. <laughs> uh, my mom and, one time. It's a long story, but. And you get what you pay for. And you get what you. I mean, that's that's the truth. Look, she's she's nodding her you head. You get she what knows. you pay for. And you, you have extensions in right now. I couldn't even tell. Look how beautifully that blends. She's got two hair. rows of luxury extensions in. Everything is custom colored. Every weft, your hair, everything is always custom. Okay. So if the wind blows, no one knows. I love that. You should have that on your bumper sticker. I just came up with that just I, a second. Wow. Patented. We're patenting it. Oh my gosh. Angelina, thank you so much. I'm gonna practice this 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 curl. Just rope. Just twist, twist, twist. Just rope. And just then rope. and then warm up the ends. Okay. Yeah. We're Easy. gonna we're gonna make this happen. I'll make you so proud. 